Hello and welcome to Kid Fix, your weekly fix of entertainment. I'm your host, Philip. And I'm Benny. Coming up on today's show, we have another exciting quiz as a group of university students tackle questions written by our viewers to compete for the ultimate bragging rights. And Miss Watson will be joined in the Kid Fix Lab by pupils of Mab Lane Primary School with another experiment for you to try at home. Finally, stay tuned for another installment of Kid Fix News where I'll be bringing you the most interesting news stories from around the globe. But first, <clears throat> Benny. I've got a challenge for you. A challenge? Do tell. Yes, well, the other day, I learned about the world record for a person who could hold their breath for the longest. Oh. Have a guess how long it was for. Um, one minute. No, longer than that. Two minutes. Even longer than that. A decade. Well, not quite. Oh. You see, the answer is actually 22 minutes and 22 seconds. Oh, wow. Yes, well, I tried it, but I could only do it for 30 seconds. But I thought, if there's one puppet in the world that could do it, it could be Benny. Yes! Challenge accepted. Right. Philip, count me in. Are you ready? Yes. Three, <laughs> two, one, go! <laughs> well, that should keep him quiet for a little bit. We'll check back on Benny later, but right now it's time to head over to Professor Test where we're going to have another game of bragging rights. That's it. Keep going. You can do it, Benny. Come on. Hello and welcome to Bragging Rights, a game show that is designed by children at home for the embarrassment of the adults in the studio. I'm your host, Professor Test, and today I'm joined by two brilliant teams taking on three very difficult challenges. So first of all, on my left, I have Tori, Sophie and Rachel for the girls' team. Captain Sophie, how are you and the girls feeling today? Well, how are we feeling, girls? <laughs> A bit sassy then, yeah. I'm feeling very sassy. Competitive, ready to take on the ready, lads? Ready, we're totally ready. They're going ready. down. Yeah, they're going down. down. Do you down. believe the girls will come out on top today? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Okay, <laughs> and moving over to the boys, strong words from the girls oh, there. Please. Phil, Neve, and Andrew, how are you guys today? We're feeling extreme. Brilliant. Okay, so the competitiveness <laughs> is definitely in the air as we move on to the ball pool. In front of me is 500 balls on the activity floor. Each team is going to nominate one member of their team to go out and stand in the ball pool and in 20 seconds collect as many balls that have a star on them as possible. Each star represents a question at the end of the round so the teams can win points. Very simple, but 20 seconds is a very short amount of time. And boys, you are first. So which one are you, have you nominated? Andrew, team, okay, yeah. if you'd like to take a place on the activity floor, step into it for on, me, Andy. try to crush anything. Let's do this. Words of encouragement and um, dismissal are encouraged throughout this in 20 seconds. Tell me when you're ready, Andrew. I okay, am. so to run through it again, as soon as you find a ball, put it into the bowl and give me the ball back at the end. Are you ready? <laughs> yep. Okay, going in three, two, one, go. Come on, Andy. Oh, <laughs> now, are we taking into account that these have all stars on, considering that there are only four in the entire 500 that have stars? Okay, if you want to take your seat, I'll pressure. find out just how many you've got. That's none. 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 No. 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 <laughs> so that is zero for the boys' team, yeah. unfortunately. Well. <laughs> which means you have Did no chance to answer any one. questions. You picked one up, didn't you? So you yeah, will end this up. round with a grand it? total of zero. Sorry. Okay, so now we'll have to go over to the girls team. Okay, ladies, so you are up next. Who have you nominated? Uh, we've nominated the lovely Rachel. Rachel, brilliant. So if you can take your place in the activity floor, step into the pool of wonders. Oh. Uh, remember that you have 20 seconds to find as many starred balls as possible. You don't need many to beat the boys team, so they've got absolutely zilch. So are you ready? I'm ready. In 20 seconds, starting now. Okay, keep going. 
Ten seconds left. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Stop. Oh, she got it on the stop. She got, I will allow it. I will allow it. I will allow it. She got it on the stop. Absolutely fantastic oh. work there, Rachel. And for the girls' team, you've got three balls. That's what they look like, boys. You know, seems that you failed. So are you ready for your three questions? Yes. Yeah, they are multiple choice, OK? And you don't have a time, though, but I will ask you to be prompt. Are you ready? OK, question one. Who was the Barclays Premier League top scorer in 2013 and 14? OK, was it A, Wayne Rooney? B, Daniel Sturridge, or C, Luis Suarez? Are you being serious? Deadly serious. In 2014? 2013-14, the season 14. between that. Yeah, is, it, is it Suarez? I want to say Suarez. Wayne Rooney, Suarez. Daniel Sturridge, Luis Suarez. You going with Suarez? I want to say Suarez. I'm going to have to push you for it. You've got another two questions it's after this. Come on. Suarez, so. Suarez, OK, let's go. Suarez. 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 Correct. Yes! Fantastic. Question two. What is the middle colour of a rainbow? Is it green, blue, or purple? <laughs> yeah, feel free to green, shout out as many green, rhymes green. as you want, but we're going to have to ask you for an answer as quickly as possible. I want to say green. Green, blue, or purple? Green. Green? Correct. Yeah. It was green. <laughs> okay. Third and final question. Finally, how many wives did Henry VIII have? Is it eight, six, or ten? Eight. You think it's eight? Eight, six, or ten? Six. Six. Oh, Give me an answer. Six. Hurry up, hurry up. Three, <laughs> two, one. Six. Six, correct. Oh. Oh. Three out of three for the girls. <laughs> which means brilliantly the girls go on to six points as they were worth two each. And the yeah. boys are on a lousy zero. Oh. OK, so now we're on to my very favourite round called Film Trivial. So a clip was put online by you guys and voted on between the audiences at home. So we're going to have to trailer for the Lego movie now. And you guys are going to watch it on the screens behind me, OK? You're going to have two questions after it. They're going to ask you separately. And they're worth two points each. Hopefully, the boys, you can catch up with the girls. OK? And feel free to take the lead brilliantly at the end. OK, so ready to watch it? Here it is. Yes! Overpriced coffee. That's $37. Awesome! Everything is awesome. Oh my gosh, I love this song! It's cool when we're part of the team. Everything is awesome. Ah, no, guys, wait up! <laughs> Where am I? Come with me if you want to not die. What is happening? You're the special. And the prophecy states that you're the most important person in the universe. That's you, right? Uh, yes. That's me. Okay, I'm back here, so are you ready for your two questions? Okay, I'm going to start with the boys first. Okay, so, quite a simple one, if you're observant. How much does the main character, Emmett, have to pay for his coffee? Is it $27 or $37? $37. $37, 37. $37. of course what, what it was. That's yeah. Finally, two points to you guys. Over to the girls, okay. What is Emmett doing in the bathroom? Is he cleaning his teeth, shaving his beard, or washing his hands? Shaving, shaving his beard. beard. Shaving his beard. Of course he was. Two points to you. Back to the boys. Are you ready? What colour is the item that gets stuck to Emmett's back after he falls down? Is it red, blue, or yellow? Red. It's red. <laughs> is that your final answer? <laughs> I'm sure it's I'm sure it is. No, I don't red. You're wrong. <laughs> it's, 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 it's red? I think it's, it's red, red, guys. guys it it's red. is red. Oh, yes. <laughs> OK, and final one for the girls. Sabotage us. Final one for the girls. What colour streaks does Wildstyle have in her hair? The female that you saw in the clip that said, come at me if you want to not die. Is it pink and blue? Or pink and green? Pink and blue. Pink and blue. It, of course it was pink yeah. and blue. Very yes. keen eyes from both of our teams there. So at the end of that round, the girls are ahead with 10 points. And the boys are on only four. Now for the final round. Each team are going to have 60 seconds to answer a series of general knowledge questions. However, five seconds will be deducted from their time for every ball that the opposing team gets in the basket during the ball basket challenge. So girls, because you are winning, you get to throw first. And boys, you're going to answer first. So ladies, you can take your place at the activity floor, please. Thank you very much. You'll have 20 seconds to get as many in as possible. The more you get in, the less time the lads have to answer. Are you ready? Yeah. Yep. Gonna go in three, two, one, go. Feel free to, to uh, no. put them off there, lads. 
Oh. <laughs> it seems that the bounce is key to winning this. this oh. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Looks like the aim is uh, yeah, no. a bit hey. at the moment. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no, come on. Are they all out? Yeah. They are all out. If you can take your place, please, as they yeah. score, they got absolutely none inside of the uh, the basket. So hey. lads, you actually have you actually have a full 60 seconds come to answer on, your yeah. questions, yeah. which is good. Okay, come on. Okay. So all quiet, please. You will have 60 seconds to answer these questions. You cannot give me a wrong answer. If you get the correct answer, I'll move on, or you can pass, okay? So are you ready? Okay. Okay, going in three, two, one. Liverpool lies on which river? Mersey. Okay, name the train that takes Harry and friends to school. Uh, Hogwarts Express. What is one times one times one? One. One. What is the largest planet in the solar system? Jupiter. In what sport would you hear the terms love, serve, and juice? Tennis. Name the best-selling music artists of all time. Queen. The Beatles. Paul McCartney. The Beatles, yes. What animal does Lenny want most in his dream farm? Pass. What units are your feet measured in? Uh, pass. <laughs> Quentin Blake is the artist for which famous children's, children's author? Roldal. Correct. Spell the word Mississippi. M I double S I double P I double S I. Nope. M I S S three I two one. P P I. Finished. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she did reasonably well there. And now that your turn is over, it will be the girls' turn to answer. So lads, if you can go and take your place at the activity <sighs> zone. Okay, so twenty seconds. The girls didn't get any in, so hopefully you can knock a few seconds off their time. Are you ready? Okay, we're going in three, two, one, and start throwing. Feel Ooh. Oh, that was a really close one. There's oh. one, so there's five oh. seconds off already. <laughs> the guy seems to be getting the hang of it. Oh, oh. <laughs> 10 seconds left. Five, ah. four, three, two, one. And stop! Stop. Okay, so you got one in the basket. Take a seat for me, guys. One in the basket, so you get five seconds taken off the girl's time, which is giving you 55 seconds instead of the original 60. Okay, so girls, are you ready? Yes. Again, I'll go through it again. You cannot get the answers incorrect. If you get them right, I'll continue, or you can pass. Okay? Okay, going in three, two, one. What is the longest river in the world? The Amazon. One answer. The Amazon. Is the same concept? No, no. no. Correct. Wolverine is part of which band of superheroes? X-Men. Correct. What is the square root of 49? Oh, um... Pass. pass. <laughs> what is the first element on the periodic table? Oh, um... Copper? No, it's helium or hydrogen. Helium. Hydrogen. Hydrogen. Correct. <laughs> a try is worth how many points in Rugby Union? Oh. Four. Six. Twelve. Three, two. Three. <laughs> seven. <laughs> Four. One. Pass. Pass. What is the Royal Anthem of Canada? Oh, God. Um, pass. Pass. <laughs> how many circles of hell are there in Dante's Inferno? Three. Just ten seconds left. Seven. seven. Six. Five. Five. Four, three, three, two, two, one. one, and you're out. <laughs> Very well done to the girls Giant. there. They had a bit of a struggle, but we got there in the end. So that concludes today's challenge, which means we only have time to tot up the scores and find out today's winner. Okay, so the winner with 18 points, leading only by two, is the boys. <laughs> Surprise, I must say. Yeah. Commiserations to the girls, but thank you everyone for joining today. It's been a brilliant episode. And join us again next week for another round of bragging rights. Yeah. A big thank you to the contestants who joined us today. If you want your own questions featured on a future instalment of Bragging Rights, you can get in touch with the team on the Kid Fix website. Benny? Benny, it's your line. Mm-mm. Are you still holding your breath? Mm-hmm. Benny, how long have you been holding it for? Mm-hmm. Benny, you know this is dangerous, don't you? Mm-hmm. So you're not going to speak? Mm-mm. 
<clears throat> please remember that Benny is a trained professional. Holding your breath can be dangerous, so please do not try this at home. <sighs> right. While Benny pursues his world record attempt, we'll go to the Kid Fix Lab, where Miss Watson has some school children ready to show you another experiment that you can try at home. Benny, you can stop now. Mm-mm. So I've got to do the whole show by myself? Mm-hmm. Right. Hello and welcome to the Kid Fix Lab. My name is Miss Watson and today I'll be joined by the pupils of Mab Lane Primary School as we show you the inner workings of your digestive system. So today we're going to be doing some human biology because we're going to be looking at the digestive system. And here we've got a very special guest, we have Tom. And we're going to be looking at Tom and um, seeing where our food goes when we're doing our digestive system. So where does our digestive system start then? In the mouth. In the mouth, yes. Yeah. So we're going to be eating lots of Weetabix today because we're all really hungry. So can someone put some Weetabix in our mouth for me, please? And the first thing that happens inside your mouth, what's going to happen? What are you going to do? Crush it up. Yeah, crush it up with what? Your teeth. Your teeth, brilliant. So we're going to be using our incisors first. If you get the scissors there. Now these are in our incisors, these are type of teeth. So we're starting here, they're our incisors. And you're going to cut up the Weetabix for me. So at the moment we're going to be tearing and crushing the food inside our mouth, which Adam's doing here with the scissors as our incisors. Can someone put some saliva in for me? We've got some saliva there. We've got lots of food, so we need quite a lot of saliva. Now this softens the food up as Adam's cutting it up. Then after that, inside our mouth, we've got some enzyme. If you can get the enzyme for me and put a bit of enzyme into our mouth, this helps us break the food down. A little bit more for me, please, Adam. And all this time, we've still got our teeth chopping it all up, making it smaller, so it'll be able to fit down our throat, or our esophagus, as we call it in science terms. Now, next, we've had our incisors. We're going to use our molars at the back of our uh, mouth to mash our food up even more because we've still got a bit too big to be able to go down our esophagus, haven't we? Yeah? So can you get the spoon for me? And that's going to be our molars. Okay. So all mushed up? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've got it all mushed up. That's what it looks like inside your mouth. We've got the enzymes and we've got the saliva as well. So it's going to go down here, down our esophagus, and it's going to go into our stomach. Okay, now our stomach is here, the bag. So, can we spoon the food inside our mouth into the stomach, please? Brilliant. You've got a lot of food there inside our mouth, so it's going down our throat or esophagus. Is it nearly all in? Yeah. yeah. So when it gets into the stomach, it's going to act like um, a mixer, churning and mashing all the food up a little bit more. So when it's all in there, if you could zip it up and start mashing it. That should be That's fine. Enough. Thank you. So we finished with our mouth. Uh, thank you. So you're going to mix it up. That's it. Our stomach's squeezing all the food inside. If we look at Tom here, so, so far we've had it inside our mouth, we've gone down the esophagus and we've gone into our stomach now. Okay, now we've got some stomach acid, so we're going to be adding that now. So get the stomach acid for me, that's just our vinegar. Yeah, great. Add some acid. Now again, this just helps us break the food down. <laughs> doesn't smell very nice. Mm. Do you think your food would smell very nice inside your stomach? Though? No. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. 
ingredients. So we've got our stomach acid and all this time while the stomach acid is being added, we're going to be squeezing it all up. Yeah, and then the next thing that helps to break the food down is from our liver. Do we know what comes out of our liver to help us break the food down? Do you remember? Gosh. Not gas, no? Bile. bile. Bile, yeah. We've got a bile from the uh, liver. So can someone add some bile to our stomach now? Squeeze. That's it. Break down. Do you need some help opening it? You got it? That's a the back. Yeah. And again, it's all being mixed up inside the stomach. Brilliant. Looks lovely, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so this is where we're going to get a little bit messy now. So we go from our stomach, look at back at Tom, we go from our stomach, and then we're going into our intestines, okay? So we're going to use our tights as the intestines, but before we go into the, the intestines, can you get some gloves on for me, please? We've got all that food colouring in, and we don't want you to go home with uh, red and green all over your fingers. Thank you, Adam. I'm just going to cut our stomach. And then we're going to put it into our intestines. Okay, who's going to be squeezing that in? Who's squeezing it in? Oh, you're you're going to do it. I'll pull. Okay, all of that food into our intestines. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, don't worry. That's it. Okay, let's squeeze it all in. Let me take oh, your stomach yeah. off you. <laughs> so the stomach's done its job, the mouth's done its job, and now it's the intestines. It's going to go all the way down to the bottom. In. You keep it up, oh, that's it. So it's gone from the large intestine to the small intestine. And what's happening to your gloves at the moment? They're getting all dirty. They are getting all dirty. Do you know why that is? Because all the nutrients from the food. Yeah, brilliant. All the nutrients in the food are coming out of the intestines and it's going to go into our bloodstream. It's going to give us energy to run, to walk, to do everything during our day. Okay, so we've got it at the <laughs> end of our intestines now, haven't we? <laughs> yeah? Okay, so. The food now from the intestine is going to be pushed down into the rectum, okay? And then after that, where do you think we're going to go? To the toilet. We're going to go to the toilet and it's going to be pushed through our anus, okay? So we're going to need a toilet now. I'll get the toilet and we're going to... Oh, I'm, I'm squeezing off. Okay. I'll cut it for you. Excuse me, boys. And you're now going to go to the toilet. Yep, that's it. Pull it up so everyone can see that. <laughs> All into the toilet. Okay, so let's get rid of that. That looked lovely, didn't it? <laughs> okay, so we started in the mouth. We went into next where? Our stomach. Our stomach, yeah, through our esophagus into our stomach and um, there. And then we go to the large intestines. The large intestines and then the small intestines. Into the small intestines and then the rectum. The rectum and then the into and the out, toilet. And out into the toilet. And that concludes today's experiment. To find out more about the digestive system, follow the link below to the KidFix website. 
Thank you for tuning in. Goodbye from us here at the Kid Fix Lab. See you again soon. Bye. Bye. A huge thank you to Mab Lane Primary School for joining us today. Now, we hope you guys are joining the experiment at home and having fun learning about your digestive system. Now you've had a go with today's experiment, please send us a picture on the website and let us know how you get on. Meanwhile, back here, Benny still isn't giving up. Come on, Benny, I can't do the whole show by myself. Look, if I promise to do the news, will you promise to do the weather? Mm-hmm. Promise? Mm-hmm. Right. Up next, we've got Kid Fix News and the weather. Now, you know you promised. Mm hmm Pinky promised? <clears throat> an explosive factory, a total eclipse, and an international win. This is Kid Fix News. Now, this isn't a scene from Bonfire Night. This is the result of an enormous haul of illegal fireworks that took three and a half days for the American police force to dispose of. Over 9,000 kilos of fireworks went up in smoke. That's about the weight of nine cars. The show of a lifetime. Friday the 20th of March marked a total solar eclipse. Millions of people on this side of the globe were treated to a spectacle as the moon passed in front of the sun and completely blocked out the light. This is an extremely rare occurrence and the next time you'll be able to see it in the UK will be in 2019. The Six Nations wrapped up nicely with glory for Ireland, beating England by a narrow six-point difference. They went on to claim the 2015 Six Nations title. England beat France in their 55-35 epic, but never managed to obtain the points needed to overtake Ireland in first place. This was Ireland's third title in the last six years after victories in 2009 and 2014. That's it from me and the news team. We will now fly over to Benny, who will hopefully give us an in-depth review of the weather ahead. Ten, nine, eight, seven. <sighs> Benny, why did you stop? You were so close. Well, I realized something, Philip. What did you realize? I can't breathe. What do you mean? Well, I'm a puppet, Philip. I haven't any lungs. So you mean all this time you were just fine? Yes, a prank, Philip. <laughs> a prank. And on that note, that's all we have time for today. Thank you so much for tuning in to Kid Fix and join us again next time. Goodbye. Right, your turn. A prank. I am not speaking to you. A prank. <sighs>